Good morning, the old fashioned lilacs are finally in bloom and I'm gonna cut a nice bouquet. They look really good. You'll see a little bit different colors, although they're all old fashioned. And it has to do with the bud formation and whether the petals are open or not. You can see the ones behind me are kind of light. I'll do some B-roll on some other ones showing what it looks like when they're a little darker, although it's all the same variety. So stay tuned and we'll cut a bouquet. So you can see the buds on these are a little bit darker because the, the petals haven't opened yet. And this is last year's bloom, which I didn't deadhead, which you can deadhead them. Um, probably should have, but I just didn't get to it. The one thing to note about old-fashioned lilacs is they only bloom on new wood. So if we take a closer look, you can see that this is a green shoot. This would have just emerged this spring. So it would have opened up from this bud joint and then the flowers grew from there. So anywhere where there's old wood, you don't see the blooms. So as I take a step back and I pan across the front of my property where I have this hedge line of old fashioned lilacs, you can see in a lot of cases it's really sparse under, like in the middle or underneath. And if I want it to fill out there, I would have to do a hard prune and get to get the new wood to emerge yet again. The one thing to note about lilacs is they spread through rhizomes or runners in the ground and you get the new little shoots coming. Here we have one that's matured a little bit and it's probably, I don't know, five years old maybe. And so that one too has started to bloom, which is really fun if you want to be able to propagate and move some more lilacs on your property or fill in a, in a dead spot in your main line. That's the main reason why when you mow, you don't want to mow str straight up to the base of your lilacs or you'll be taking out all of the the runners. There's quite a few on this tree. As you can see here, these are all really little ones. And you really want to cut them so they're as long as you need them to be and you can always cut them shorter. You want to go just a little bit longer. So I'm going to go in and cut this one down here. So anytime you go to cut flowers, always take a vase of water with so you are at the ready to be able to uh, hydrate them right away. If this video is helpful, give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this content with others. If you enjoy gardening, tips and tricks, check my playlist, they're in the description below. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.